Have you ever engaged in a serious debate over which is better, Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Have you ever played Smash or Pass using only characters from Star Wars and Marvel movies? If you answered yes to any of these questions, we have the podcast for you. Listen to the Steam Gentleman, the podcast where an expert panel convenes to ask the questions about pop culture and social commentary that other podcasts are afraid to ask. Listen to the Steam Gentleman on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Ladies and gentlemen, Wrestling Fans International Association is back. That's right, the premier fan club association of the 1970s and 1980s has been revived and is back in business. Join today. It's free at the WFIA.org. That's T H E W F I A.org. You can also join us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash groups slash WFIA 1969. Welcome back, everybody, to the 1987 Super Mod. I'm your host, Brad Drake, and this is the World Wrestling Federation. Tonight, the WWF is at the Los Angeles Sports Arena, and we are recording an episode of WWF on Z Channel. We're not actually recording. It was actually live shows that they did. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and set our broadcaster. And our broadcaster, of course, is Z Channel. We're going to save that selection. Now, before we get going, well, we'll do the, we'll, what I'm thinking of, we'll go to in a second here. Absent workers, nobody except who we expect to be out. Backstage incidents, we have some uh, protege work going on, so that's good. We'll go back to the booking screen, and then we're going to check out our card for tonight. However, what we need to check out here is commentators. For Z Channel, it's been a while, obviously, since we've recorded one of these. So we have Monsoon and Hayes and Gene Okerlund doing the interviews. So Monsoon, Hayes, and Okerlund. So remember that. So when I start screwing it up, everybody, make sure you remind me. Okay? You ready? All right. Here we go. All right. We're going to have a couple dark matches here. The Raider is going to face Bam Bam Bigelow. And we're also going to have Gustavo Mendoza against Japanese sensation Ryuma Go. Tony Rocco is going to face superstar Billy Graham in our opening bout. We are going to see a superstar Billy Graham promo afterwards. Kamala and Sika will battle Billy Jack Haynes and Ken Patera. Coco Beware is going to mix it up with Paul Orndorff, Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff, that is. Jake the Snake Roberts will cut a promo and then follow that up with a match against Greg the Hammer Valentine. One of our hot feuds going right now, the Islanders will battle Strike Force and tag team action. We're going to see a Hulk Hogan promo. And then our main everybody, main event everybody, the natural Butch Reed will face Hulk Hogan for that World Heavyweight Championship. All right, here we go, everybody. Let's get to booking. Here we go. Dark match, pre show, dark. And we have the Raider. Versus Bigelow. They are going to go five minutes. Let me double check the time on that. Yes, it is five minutes. We have Gorilla Monsoon. We have Lord Alfred Hayes. All right. So here is the Raider. Which I think is Rock Hunter. No. The Raider is Randy Barber. Pretty certain. Yep, Randy Barber. There we go. All right, and he is facing Bam Bam Bigelow. Randy Barber was a big dude, really big dude. All right, Bigelow gets the win here. Remember, he is managed by Sir Oliver Humperdinck, and uh, pretty good stuff with those two. Remember watching them as a kid? They had great chemistry. All right, here we go. Dark match number two, and we have Mendoza versus Go. I believe we signed... Ryuma go to like a six-match deal or something. 
Um, let's double check here. Here's Gustavo Mendoza. Here is Ryuma Go. There he is. All right, good deal. Ryuma Go is a good worker. Real good worker. All right, Go with the win here, everybody. And this one is in the books. All right, we are on to the main card. And our opener is going to be Tony Rocco, L.A. legend Tony Rocco, against superstar Billy Graham. They're going to go eight minutes. I'm sure these two men have probably wrestled each other dozens of times in their career. And Superstar with the win. He, of course, is making a comeback here after being gone for a while. And a rare moment here, we're going to have a Superstar Billy Graham promo afterwards. All right, so we got to go back and adjust that. Dang it. You didn't remind me, everybody. <laughs> All right, superstar Billy Graham cuts a promo. And I don't think he's in a feud. He's not in a feud, so we can leave this one open-ended. So we have Gene Okerlund, and we have superstar Billy Graham here. And Graham's the only one that's going to be rated. That'll be an outstanding one. All right, we got to go back to Mendoza versus Go. Monsoon and Hayes. Then we have to go to Rocco and Graham, Monsoon and Hayes. All right, we got that one fixed. Good deal. Okay, moving right along here. Kamala and Sika against Haynes and Patera. And I forgot to check how long they're going. They're going to get a 10 minute bout. All right. Here is Kamala and Sika. Do we have, we do not have Haynes and Patera in there as a team, even though. They were a team at this point, but that's okay. Here is Billy Jack Haynes. And here is Ken Patera, the world's strongest man. All right, so we have Kamala and Sika versus Haynes and Patera. We're going to give Ken Patera the win here, everybody. All right, and that one. Is in the books. Up next here we have Coco Beware against Orndorff. This one's going to go 10 minutes. Paul Orndorff is on the verge of a face turn here. From what I remember. Monsoon and Hayes. So we have Ware versus Orndorff. Here is Coco Beware. Here is Paul Orndorff. Paul Orndorff has not made that change yet. So we're going to have him get the win, but it's going to come via manager interference. All right, that one's booked. Let me go back and check that last match. See, I almost screwed that up again. You didn't remind me. <laughs> this is cool that you can use events like this, and I'm glad I figured it out. I've done this in a bunch of other saves that I do. It's, it's really cool, but it is a pain in the neck that you have to adjust the commentators for each and every match. But, hey. That's what it takes. That's what it takes. All right, Jake the Snake Roberts is going to cut a promo here. And I think he is in a feud. No, he's not. All right, so that's okay. That's cool. So we have Jake the Snake Roberts cuts a promo. Five minutes for this one. Here is Gene Okerlund. Here is Jake Roberts, and now I've got to go back and double check that last one, last promo we did, to make sure. Okay, good. Good to go on that one. Cool. All right, and up next now we have Greg the Hammer Valentine against Jake Roberts. They're going to go 12 minutes. Valentine versus Roberts. Now, this these are pretty two, two pretty good marquee wrestlers here. So, having either of them lose on TV here isn't really a good idea. Um, it never hurts to have a DQ win. So, we have Jake Roberts win by DQ. That's disqualification for all of you that haven't been paying attention. <laughs> and we're going to do it by having the interference from Johnny V. So, here's Johnny V. Jake Roberts, we can add that one in there. 
good to go. And we have Monsoon, Lord Alfred Hayes. This one is booked. Good deal. Uh, 12 minute bout. I don't think I did the I did do the time right. Good. All right, we have the Islanders and Strike Force. They're gonna go 14. And this is a pretty hot feud. You had the really cool two-on-one on Rick Martel thing going on. And then you had the save by Tito Santana forming Strike Force. So we're going to have this one be a draw. And we're going to have a double DQ. So that one adds some heat to this feud. All right, cool. Next, we have the big Hulk Hogan promo. Let me double check that one to make sure. See that? Almost screwed that up again. All right, now we have our Hulkster promo here. Hulk Hogan cuts a promo on Butch Reed because that's the big main event, everybody. The big, big main event. All right, here is Mean Gene Okerlund. Here is the Hulkster. Here he is. He's talking about that Butch Reed. All right, entertainment, everything's set properly here. Good to go. Now here comes our big main event. Let me double check how long that match length is, 16 minutes. Reed's getting a big payday for this one. Reed versus Hogan. 16 minutes. We got Monsoon and Hayes. And here we go, Butch Reed versus Hulk Hogan. TV or not here. We're going to send the fans home happy and get kids jumping up and down in their living rooms. And we're going to have the Hulkster defend that title. And this one can go as an epic. Both these men can handle it. Good stuff here. All right, let's go ahead and run this one and see how we do. All right, the Raider and Bigelow. Bigelow gets with that big power bomb, 55 overall. Good stuff. Up next here, we have uh, Mendoza and Ryuma Go. Go only scores a 41. That's certainly not based on talent just because of his popularity. Look at that crowd. That's a good sellout here in the LA Sports Arena. Huge crowd. Huge crowd. All right. And we have Rocco versus superstar Billy Graham. Billy Graham gets the win via submission with that bear hug 78 overall. Good match. Real good match. Here we go. Great promo by superstar Billy Graham here. 81 overall. Lots of green there and well-deserved. All right, Kent Patera gets the win over Sika with that Patera hug. 77, Patera with a 70, Haynes with an 82. Good stuff, we'll take it. All right, Paul Orndorff gets the win over Coco by where, Beware after Bobby Heenan interferes. And Orndorff is drastically underrated in this version. I think this is version 9 here. So 78 and a 66 lands us a 76. That's pretty generous by the AI. Jake the Snake Roberts gets a nice, nice promo here. 80 overall. Good stuff. Moving right along here. We have Greg Valentine and Jake Roberts. And Jake Roberts gets the win by DQ. 84 overall for this match. 89 and a 70, 70. 77, not a 70, 70. <laughs> I dig it. All right, moving right along. Strike Force and the Islanders go to a double DQ. 78 overall for these two. Another good score here. Good tag match. We've got to change up the uh, Strike Force pictures here so they look like they're a team. All right. Hulk Hogan gets a nice 93 promo here. Lots of green. Green equals money. Ladies and gentlemen, it does not get much better than Gene Okerlund and Hulk Hogan in August of 1987. That's for certain. Promo wise. All right. Here we go. Reed versus Hogan in the main event. Hogan gets a 100. And you can rest assured that's based mostly on popularity. Butch Reed gets a 74. We get a 97 overall for this one, everybody. Outstanding score. Outstanding fun show here on Z Channel. We're going to finish this one up. We get a game in the Southwest region. We are going to point out Hulk Hogan on this one. We're going to point out Jake Roberts, who did a good job. And who else should we point out here? Um, why don't we point out Coco? Coco did a good job. So good performance for Coco. Great, great. We're going to make that speech. Hogan is pleased. Jake Roberts is pleased. And Coco Beware is pleased. Good stuff, everybody. All right, heading back to our screen here while that loads. We have to make some adjustments to events here. Back to the tour. 
So 152 will actually be held on Monday of week three. And we're not sure what arena or where we're going to be at for this one. Don't think we have any more TV recordings for week three right away, but we'll find out. All right, back to the main screen here. Yeah, let's check that right now. What the heck? Yeah, see, we have another Houston Wrestling's coming up, but that's in a few days. So we're back to regular um, regular house shows here. All right, All-American Wrestling, 233,000 viewers. BS, would have gotten a lot more than that. Probably about 2.3 million and more BS with Wrestling Challenge, probably 1.23 million. All right, 204,000 people viewed it on Z Channel. That's probably realistic. And got a little bit of a payday there from Z Channel. Tama is tired. That's too bad for him. All right, everybody. That's going to do it for us for this episode. For those of you that are looking for more, you can find it over on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Powercast Network. Uh, don't forget, everybody, to check it out because on there is where version 11 will be released on December 1st. That's right. Version 11 of the 1987 Supermod comes out on December 1st. And you never know if you Patreon people might get it a couple days sooner. You never know, do you? So much more to be found over on our Patreon page as you'll get all of our shows early and YouTube ad free. And you will get access to all of our spreadsheets. So check it out today, everybody. Patreon.com slash Powercast Network. Don't forget to check us out on social media. Facebook.com slash group slash 1987 Supermod. You can also make sure to check out Wrestling Fans International Association where you can get a free membership today. That's the WFIA.org. It is 100% free to join and will give you access to the bi-monthly publication of Wrestling Fan News. Thanks for checking us out today, everybody, and make sure to come back in a few more days with our next exciting episode. Thank you.